Hey guys, it's Robin here, and I'm wearing my little hoodie here, so just don't mind me. And I wanted to get on and just see how all of you guys were doing. I really hope that all of you guys are doing okay. I've been praying for love and encouragement for us all through these dark times and that things will get better. And my heart goes especially out to you seniors and everyone who's still working. I hope that everything's going okay and that Jesus is leading you and that like Rob said, the whole, not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will guide us and let's just trust in Him and find some time to talk to Him. It doesn't have to be a long time. It doesn't have to be an hour, but just do it with all of your heart. And God knows that. God can read your heart and He knows what you're thinking of. So just trust in Him and His goodness and let's just let go of control of our lives and let Jesus control our lives. And especially during a time like this, I wanted to remind all of you guys about love. Sometimes we can forget to love our family. We can be hateful sometimes. But Jesus, he loved us so much. He died for us because he knew that we were sinners. So we he repent, like we repent and now we're alive. So now I, I found this verse that I thought was really cool. John chapter 15, verse 10. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain as his, in his love. So because Jesus kept God's commands, he, overca he overcame death. And now we have the chance to overcome this. And this is Jesus' new command, which was, well, it was always there, but... He just said it again so we could remember. In verse 17, this is my command, love each other. And yes, we can love with words, but let us love with some action. And it doesn't have to be so much. It just has to come from your heart. There it goes my notes. And it can, become, it can start with a phone call to a friend, checking up on how they are maybe making dinner for once or finally washing the dishes for once it doesn't have to be much but it's important to love with some action and some truth as in first john 3 verse 18 dear children let us not love with words or tongue but with actions and in truth we have so much to be grateful for and when we're grateful and thankful for things and just remind remember everything that is around us and how safe we are because of Jesus's love we can enjoy life we don't have to worry about anything so with that we can obey him and show him some love by showing love to others with actions and truth maybe there is someone that you've had a, had a fight with and or someone that you never really got along with well this is kind of a great time to get to know them a bit more and just spread some love or maybe it's your brother and sister you just haven't been getting along with them well Jesus wants us to love everyone wants us to love everyone and it just provides so much happiness so I encourage all of you guys to just love by doing something and maybe making a card for your doctor if you have their address and check on how they're doing or just send some encouraging verses to a friend or if someone's going through a lot right now with their families you can help and support them just remember that Jesus is enough and that he is guiding us the Holy Holy Spirit is guiding us and we can just let that shine and reflect off of our own selves and let people see that love so that they may know that God is good. I hope y'all are gonna do great and I recommend you check out these verses and some love to y'all even though we can't be together in the body we are in the spirit. We share the same spirit and with the same spirit let's spread some love. Peace out y'all!